So retracing the route a little bit. Got to go down 54. So we passed our route, but hey, I took a pee, found a gas station, and uh, put about eight bucks worth of gas in this thing. Not bad for 90 miles. 2.9 gallon, about three gallons total. I know we have to go back across the bridge, so it's always a fun looking ride. I will see what river this actually still is. I don't think it, I might say on the sign right here. Wisconsin River still. It's a big river, I'll tell you. I've never fished it. Probably need a boat. So we're going 54 west, 73 south. There was a road close sign up here, so I wonder what the hell that was all about. I'm not really pay attention, there's two rows. You never know, one might be a veer off somewhere else. So we've been camping this trip, and I've been camping all year. Uh, maybe for the first night we're gonna try pitching the tarp off of the bike handles like the old school pitchers. Uh, it's supposed to rain, and I did bring a tent reluctantly. So I don't know, maybe we'll just set that up and call it good. Seems like a lot to just set up and tear down if you're not staying for a few days. I'm traveling pretty light. And we have about 107 miles to go. I'm gonna open my visor. So, about two hours. We're making good time, I think. We stopped for a little bit. I've had to put the GoPro on the charger. Uh, that's what that's for right there. Things look good so far, you know. It's been a pretty good day. Traffic's not too bad here. I can see where it can be busy. There are two lane roads and everything, so that's looks like it could be a hop in town. At least we got a nice view of the river for a while anyway. I only had one driver today get on the wrong side of the road to pass a car and realize I was there. All than that has been pretty peaceful. Ah yes, here we go. Here's why there's multiple lanes. I guess we're in the right lane. 54 west and 73 south. And a roundabout. I hate roundabouts. These are some of the most dangerous things out there for a motorcyclist. Because people think they got the time to go through them, most people can't judge. So we switched up the music choices a little bit. Now I'm back on to my 90s, early 2000s rock. People look at me weird when I play some of this stuff. I'm like, what is that? Like, it's stuff I grew up riding the short bus with, man. Come on. And yes, I did ride a short bus. <laughs> no puns intended. Bus driver lady used to always complain she had to travel 10 miles more. That's what happens when you load up with the cat skills in the mountains. This is actually some pretty nice scenery through here. I've, like I said, I've never been here. So next year, this is what we're going to start doing is this right here. Historical markers. We're going to find a few of them, maybe. And we're probably going to like get a map together and we're going to stop at these historical markers. And maybe I'll do a little talk and history about them if I can find anything. There's one up towards Crivet that is basically your halfway point between each equator and the North Pole. Each equator. I just mean the equator. But it's like 3,000 something nautical miles. I don't, I don't know. 
that's where I consider the northern Wisconsin and the highlands to actually start. But we're heading south right now. Uh, I just took out some money from the bank too. That way if we go over into Minnesota, my car doesn't get locked when the bank sees I'm over there. Because they do that sort of thing and it's pretty shitty because you'll have to actually go in physically and pretty much have them unlock it. So probably after this, unless something interesting comes up, we're probably going to shut the camera off for a while. Uh, when we stop, I'm pretty sure I'll be shaking hands, so I'll put it up on the charger. The batteries on these GoPros don't last very long. So that's the downside to GoPros if you uh, have a GoPro for action camming or motovlogging, is you have to have a way to charge it. Most people just have batteries. I have a charger on the bike that I'm going to try to use. I can put it up here on my phone holder because it has a mount, obviously. And I can actually slide the phone off and put it in that if I want to because it's the same kind of mount. That's a Custom X-X3's $15 Walmart job right there. And it's held up pretty good considering. So I don't know, maybe I'll take it, put it on the charger and do some filming of me riding along. You can get a full frontal view of me, I guess. Got a frontal view of the ugly. So hopefully this camera is straight because I've noticed my camera angle has been a little crooked. I hope the uh, way I got it positioned too is pretty good. I was saying we got 107 miles to go less than that now but sometimes getting through rural Wisconsin areas is just that's what it is it's a journey but I was on the right path you know just by looking at the map and maybe we'll do like a whole thing on navigation as long as we're not in Appleton because if you watched my last video I confused two streets that are pretty well known if you live there Anyways guys, I'll start the camera if something interesting pops up. I uh, didn't get any messages. I uh, texted a loved one, let him know I was alright. And uh, yeah. When we come strolling into lacrosse, I'll probably activate the camera again. Uh -oh. Catch you guys in a bit.
take this off and it's essentially a GoPro mount right there. So we're gonna need to charge this thing eventually. It's halfway done. Might as well start now, right? Test out my charger. The Cobra, as it's called. And uh, I might get some bar footage, so that's probably gonna be the majority of the trip until we get into a cross or near it. There's something that important, I'll do a voiceover, but. That's it, as long as you don't over tighten it. This cheap $15 mount should uh, do you pretty good. All right guys, enjoy the rest of the trip. Uh, when we get to lacrosse, maybe we'll do a video log if uh, I don't have company. Oh man, overshot my turn. There wasn't an exit for another 10 miles. And somehow this put me 20 miles out further. But we're heading south now, so we're back on track. I uh, just stopped to take a picture and take a pee again. And well, sure pulled in, just started looking at me like I did something wrong, which technically I would have if you saw me being on the outside. I got some nice pictures of the scenic turn off there though. I guess the rest of our crew we're meeting up with is almost there. The thing about motorcycle rides is they never go as planned. It's like the saying, never bring anything on a trip you're not willing to lose. And wow, that holds true. So anyways, they sound like they're in the uh, mood to walk around and stretch out. And I have like 60 miles to go, so another hour. Like I said, I see something much string, I'll give you an update. I'll throw the picture in the scene over here that I took too. I'm glad I bought my big Canon with a camera lens and everything, instead of just the GoPro. But most of the roads have been like this. I couldn't get my camera to turn on when it was on the handlebars for some reason. This is some beautiful section of the state, I'll tell you that. Kept an eye on my back tire. Should last for this trip, and I'll need to change it before it gets danger level. So, but anyways, guys, I uh, hope you enjoy the ride so far. Pigeon Falls. That's where I was supposed to turn on that exit, but somebody had a fender bender. Fifty-four and fifty-three are beautiful routes, by the way. Oh, coming around the corner, I expect like a river or something. Looks like it dips down in there farther. So, I've been recording with the River app, and uh, probably have a little bit cut out with it. But the problem was I didn't turn on turn-by-turn -turn navigations, so I couldn't navigate around that area because, well, I don't know this area very well. See things are consistent with the cart and carriage in the Amish. And in the middle of nowhere, oh, pipeline construction, that's new. Middle of nowhere, road work ahead. I was gonna say, be prepared to stop. Whitehall and Blair. Very European names. Where is the pipeline, dammit? Oh, probably right there. 
That's the start of it anyway. I was gonna say, I wanted this big, like, construction zone now. Ah, oh, dear. stays like it is, we'll be going through a town called Hurley, and after the bulletproof guards got thrown out of there, that's what they call themselves, bulletproof security from Arizona, we went up in there and did security for a week or two on the mountainside, that was a fun job. They were collecting iron ore deposits. Hopefully 
use a turn off road if we needed it this far in. I mean, there's cars and stuff coming through, so that doesn't mean we can get through. about this stuff right here. I'll be honest, I'm glad we can get through now. bit of a relief, I won't lie. Wave him on, that way he doesn't have to worry about us getting through. Well, anything else, just like I say, I'll turn the camera back on. So, catch you guys later.